Hi, Jonathan Perkins, Bex Hybrids PFR Agronomist and Location Lead here at the Effingham site. What you see behind us here is we're actually standing out in the wheat plots and we're out here in late January. So you might say, well, what are we looking at at this time of year? We've had some recent freeze thaw cycles and one of the things that we're taking a look at here today, we're standing in our planting depth study on wheat. So in the past, we've done some work on corn and soybeans with planting depths, and in wheat, it's just as important, if not more so. And I'll describe that here in just a little bit. So what we've seen on corn and soybeans is it's one of those small changes that we can make on the planter that doesn't take a whole lot to do, but can create large impact later when it comes to yields, as we've seen. So with soybeans, we've seen that inch and a half depth to be the ideal uh, across the last multi-location and multi-year data sets that we have. And on corn, it's been two inches is where we've seen that to really maximize our dollars and return on investment. So with wheat, as I mentioned earlier, it's just as important. And the reason I say that is there's a process called heaving that occurs in winter wheat. So when we think about it, as water expands, as it makes into ice, like what we see sometimes when pipes expand, they might burst when we get into winter. So similar concept in the soil, as it freezes, we get some expansion and that causes the soil to raise and heave some of that wheat out of the ground. And if we're just broadcast applying, say with maybe a spinner uh, or something like that to broadcast on the surface, I've seen issues in the past out on fields to where the wheat has heaved out of the ground and it's actually exposed some of those roots to where it can kill, it can winter kill the plant. Now with drills and with planters, we typically don't see as much of an issue with that. However, in that case, we can still have it a little bit too shallow. Uh, as we bounce across the field, if we're not getting a consistent depth, we can have areas of the field that do show substantial heaving depending on soil type. So here you see it on 15 inch rows. We can control that a little bit better with the planter in some cases. And this year what we're trying out is half inch, one inch, one and a half, and two inch depths on the wheat. So right now we don't see a whole lot going on out here. We don't see heaving occurring yet, but we haven't had a whole lot of freeze and thaw. So as we continue into the February and the March time frames, I think we'll see more of that showing up. And uh, we want to come back out and uh, follow up with this a little bit more. So stay tuned with us through the season. Uh, we may do some follow up with that later on and see if there are differences between those half up to two inch depths in terms of heaving, as well as whenever we push into harvest and see what those results may show. So once again, you know, out here today talking to you about one of the newer studies that we're doing in wheat and some of the potential things that we might see with it. Stay tuned with us as we roll through the season here. Thanks again, Jonathan Perkins here, PFR Agronomist and Location Lead.